first, I'm René Lebel, Vice President of uh, Professional Services uh, at Decimal. Uh, I'm also responsible of uh, the BI components of our uh, Decimal Suite product. Um, Decimal is a well-recognized uh, and uh, regional provider of uh, CPM solution. We've been in business for the last uh, 25 years and uh, we uh, really do specialize in three elements. Uh, the first one is uh, costing, so we do very in-depth detail uh, modeling and cost, a costing model uh, for uh, three main industries, which is uh, government, um, uh, financial services, and uh, manufacturing process-based kind of organization. Uh, the second pillar that we have is a budget, so uh, through the evolution of the, the software within the last few years, we've, um, we've created that great costing technology but we also embedded a uh, budget capability to do the closed loop and support the closed loop process. And third, of course, and this is where JDOX is coming in the picture, is uh, we're uh, providing very extensive um, financial dashboarding and reporting capability, uh, always built on top of our own software. Um, in 2014, the first mandate that I got from management was to revamp uh, the uh, BI and dashboarding and reporting capability within our software solution. So uh, what we then launched is uh, research of uh, different ways of achieving that. First, because we have a strong R&D team, we would look at building our own BI software. But in parallel, we had a look at uh, probably something around 20, 25 different vendors uh, myself coming from the industry and other BI vendors for over 20 years, um, I knew pretty much which type of sol solution that we, we had to look at. So that long list uh, went uh, down to a short list of four vendors um, and uh, very quickly even though we were recognizing the value that the JDOC software could have, it was kind of different for JDOC to be approached purely from the BI standpoint, where compare usually you are uh, being approached from the BI and PM um, aspect. So very quickly we discover a product that we had in mind that could fit the, re the business requirements of our customer, which is getting the full autonomy and functionality that would enable them to produce their own business content. After that selection process, we did enter some uh, into a more profound discussion with JDOCS, finalized the agreement, and uh, three months after, we were starting to deploy the JDOCS capability within our own software to our customers, uh, which ended up today of having uh, JDOCS on uh, all desktops of our customers, which represent about uh, over 1,200 users uh, as of today. Because we are OEMing uh, the JDOX product in our own software, um, we are focusing on three different um, uh, sector or industry. Uh, the first one is everything related to government at every level, federal, provincial, municipal. Uh, we do uh, provide very uh, interesting capability for the, the, that specific industry. Uh, we've been very well accepted and recognized also in this area. Um, the second one is financial services, so uh, banking and insurance, uh, in which also we've been uh, adding a lot of value from the, uh, the costing perspective up to uh, even the branch level costing, which we are doing for some of those customers. And the third one, which is funny that we sometimes mention it last, but although this, this is at the beginning of the creation of Decimal, that's all the uh, manufacturing process customer. When we, um, when we selected the, the uh, JDOX, uh, there was very good reasons. It was because we knew that we could put this software in the hands of our own users who are finance people, so non-IT, uh, people who, uh, who does understand Excel very well and feel comfortable within an Excel type of a user interface. So when we've seen that value that we could have, have with JDOX, right? right off the bat, you know, out of the box, uh, we said, that's probably what we need, and this has been confirmed 
by the, uh, the fast acceptation and adoption from our customer of using it and being able to be self-sufficient with it. In this area, what we have been evaluating for the last 12 months is expanding on the usage of JDOX within our own software. Um, we purely used it initially for reporting and dashboarding development and publishing, although now we see that uh, we could expand on it from the planning perspective. So being able to take advantage of this uh, sophisticated OLAP engine, not only from a read perspective as we've been used to, but uh, taking advantage of the, the right back and the splashing capability for which we believe for from a planning perspective for our customer would bring a lot of value. So such as doing top-down budget as an example is, is for sure something that we are heading into and that we've already started to provide to our customers. For sure we always try to keep in sync with what you guys are providing and the way that we make the evolution of your own software although we have to do it at the right pace as well and to make sure that it's well integrated in our, in our own product. But um, in terms of planning, it is a clear vision that we have there to expand at using this product capability that you do provide, which brings, we believe, a lot of value to our finance customer. And, um, and, and it is clear in our mind that the more and more our customer will be using JDOX within the Decimal Suite product, they will be interested at expanding their usage of JDOX outside of the decimal world. So this is also another opportunity for us to help them provide BI and PM to their organization, not, not only on the decimal suite side, but also on other systems that they may have internally.